Morning, everybody. Jason, PJ, Hollis Farms. Just kind of getting good daylight down here in Mississippi. A little cool this morning. Not as cool as it's been being. It's a uh, pretty big chance of rain today. It actually rained a little bit on the way down. I don't think it's going to be any big storms or anything, but some rain. Uh, I think I am going to... I got to finish fooling with some of these feeders. As deer season goes on, some of them run out, and I've been just kind of getting them filled back up. Uh, no hog action, plus, very big plus. I'm sure that'll probably pick up a little bit before long, but uh, maybe not. We have been whacking on them pretty hard. I'm gonna do that. I have got to go shopping today and replace them boots that's got a hole in them. Oh, I'm going to probably run up to Knoxby Farm Supply here in just a little bit. I can't remember what brand they sell. Oh, like I've talked about before, me and Cody, Cody hasn't had any of them lacrosse in a long time, and that's about what all I wear. I've got some of those muck boots, and they just just don't do it for me. I like the lacrosse, so I'm going to probably, I may end up having to go to Starford. Like I said, I can't remember what, what brand that Knoxby sells. I go in there all the time, and I can't remember, but. Probably go stop back by there because we're not too awful far from there, and if we have to, we'll end up in Starkville and at that co-op there where we got Cody's the other day and and get up there. PJ eating that breakfast. What you doing, girl? Huh? What you doing? All right, y'all. So it got to raining a little harder than I wanted to deal with this morning gonna be kind of off and on most of the day I believe so I decided to load up it's cold pretty cold too to be in the rain uh, decided to load up and uh, got a little bit of shopping I got to do I got to get some double-a uh, rechargeable batteries and I got to go find me a pair of boots can't be without my water boots oh she is wearing Santa Claus out this morning ain't you girl That's what we're gonna do for now. I'm probably gonna end up in Starfall. Let me go over and see Slade at the uh, Owens Outfitters. About the time I, yeah, about the time I stop by the DG and check on some batteries and get over there, they ought to be open. All right, let's do a little boot shopping. Crispy, they got crispy boots now. This is some high-end stuff here. All right, me and PJ made it back. We're going to have us a little lunch. Summer sausage crackers and a Gatorade. All right, y'all. So me and PJ got through with our lunch. Did my little shopping at Owens Outfitters, more talking than shopping. But I was going to show y'all these, most of y'all probably know. These are the 18-inch Grange lacrosse rubber boots. These are my go-to boots. Sticker on these things, $79.99. Price, you can't beat them. And boy, I hated my other one, so... They come out, I hate my other one's got a hole in them, but they have come out, the cross has got a lot of boots out, different styles and all that. And I always, I've got a couple pair of them and they're nice, but I always end up back with these. These are the uninsulated ones, the Grange. And they've got some, the fancier ones. I got a pair of them and they're okay. But I always come back to these. I've got some nice turkey hunting boots and stuff. I always come back to these. These things, they just fit me good and they're comfortable, waterproof. And I've had that pair that I caught on that snag yesterday when we was in the boat, whenever it was, just unlucky. Just. But for 79 bucks, you cannot beat these. They, like I said, these are the uninsulated. 99% uh, of the time when it's cold, I wear the uh, 
800 Burleys. And then I got, I think they call them the Alpha Burleys. They're 1200s, I've wore them some, but I usually stay with the 800s. And I like the sole. These and the, the Burleys have got nearly the same sole. When you get into the 1200s, I think they got more of a bob sole, and I'm not crazy about that. These are just go-to boots. They, they smell like rubber now. They have got to be outside and used to get that rubber smell off of them, but they will definitely get used during turkey season. But these are my favorite go-to boots. These and the 800, the Burleys, for uh, when it gets cold. They're just perfect. And 99% of the time where we hunt anyway, you need, uh, need rubber boots, and I like the scent control. I don't like new ones, but we will get them broke in. These things, they're a little stiffer than I remembered them being new. The mothers had softened on up. I don't like new boots. I can smell that rubber on me. We got to get these broke in. But anyway, them are my favorite go-to hunting boots right there. All right, so here's what I'm working on now. I pulled, I've got two lone wolf climbers. One of them's a sit and climb. And this one's got the hand climber with just the, uh, you sit on the hand climber. It's got these, I had these stands for years. It's got these shoulder straps, little thin things, and they're just not comfortable at all to pack. So I've had these straps for a while. I got these from XOP when I ordered the XOP lock on. So, did you hit that handle, girl? I am going to see if the XOP straps will fit on the lawnmower climber. I'm gonna take some of this stuff off and get a set on and see what it looks like. All right, got one side, one stand mounted. Boy, that feels better already. A good set of straps makes it feel lighter. I guarantee you that'll work right there. Make it more usable, more mobile. I'm gonna stick it, go ahead and stick a set on this sit and climb one too. Be ready to rock and roll. All right, y'all got a new set of straps on them. Two old stands. I also put new traction belts on them before I started using them this year too. These are some nice stands. That's about as light a climber as I've ever found. They're pretty comfortable too. Sitting climbs uh really comfortable. The the uh hand climber deal that you sit on the hand climber part. It's not quite as comfortable. It's about like sitting in a lock on maybe. Pretty pretty good though. Very mobile. Come on. Hey, y'all, I'm fixing to have to call it a day on this one. It's going to be a little slow every once in a while this time of year. Unless I get back in the mood to go hunting a little bit. And I may. I may do that. But anyway, about to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.